Hi kids! Today we will learn more about our sense organs, nose, tongue, and skin. So let's get started. Let's start with our nose. Our nose has specialized cells that enables us to smell different things. Our nose also warms and moistens the air we breathe so that dry and cool air does not harm our internal organs. There are tiny hair inside our nose that blocks any dust particles or any other foreign particles from entering our body. Often we sneeze and that sneezing is to expel out any foreign matter that anyway goes inside our nasal cavity with our breath. Now, let's learn external parts of our nose. This is called a bridge, and this is the tip of the nose. These are nostrils, and this portion is called LA of the nose. And this is called columella. Now let's learn internal parts of our nose. Nostrils. These are the holes from where the air enters the nose. Olfactory area. This is the area of nose that recognizes smell. Olfactory bulb. It carries the signal from the smell receptor cells to the brain. The inner lining of our nose or the nostrils is lined with fine hairs. These fine hairs act as a strainer and do not let the dust particles enter our body along with the air we breathe. The nerve endings on the nasal membranes helps us to smell. When there is something in front of the nose that has some kind of smell, nerve endings gather this information and send it as signals to the brain, and the brain then tells us what kind of smell it is. When we are suffering from cold and cough, we are not able to smell. This is because the nerve endings get blocked. Now let's learn how you should take care of your nose. When the nose is blocked, use nasal drops to clear the blockage of the nose and never blow your nose too hard. Always use a handkerchief when sneezing or blowing your nose. So we have learned about our nose. Now we will learn about our tongue. Tongue is a muscular structure that is attached to the floor of our mouth and it plays a very important role. It moves food in our mouth and helps in mastication or chewing of food. Its upper surface is covered with taste buds that enables us to taste different things. The tongue always remains moist with saliva and is a natural teeth cleaner. Tongue also plays a vital role in producing speech. We cannot speak without our tongue. Our tongue is richly supplied with nerves and blood vessels. Nerves carries the messages from the taste buds to the brain. Our tongue saves us from eating anything that's not good for us, like if something is rotten or bitter. Our tongue warns us and we do not eat it. Different parts of our tongue are more sensitive to different tastes. Kids, the way we brush our teeth regularly, we should also clean our tongue using a tongue cleaner in the morning when we brush our teeth. So kids, we have learned about our nose and tongue. 
Now we will learn about another sense organ, which is our skin. Our skin is another sense organ that makes us feel anything hot, cold, rough, or smooth. The skin is the largest organ of the body, with a total area of about 20 square feet. Our skin has multiple layers, epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous. Epidermis. It is the topmost or the outermost layer of the skin. It acts as our waterproof barrier and also creates different skin tones. Dermis. The second layer is dermis. It contains tough connective tissue, hair follicles, and sweat glands. The deeper layer is subcutaneous, also known as hypodermis. It is mainly made up of fat and connective tissue. Our skin plays some very important functions. First of all, it is organ of protection. Our skin protects our internal organs from physical impacts as it acts as a cushion for our delicate internal organs. Skin acts as a waterproof cover of our body. It protects us from infections as it does not let germs enter our body. It also regulates the temperature of our body. The blood vessels in the skin constrict in very cold conditions to retain heat in the body. Also, less or no sweat is produced in cold weather conditions so that no heat is lost from the body. Blood vessels dilate or expand in hot weather conditions to allow more and more heat to escape from the body and too much sweat is released through sweat glands in hot weather conditions to let more heat escape from the body. Our skin also synthesizes vitamin D from sunlight. Our skin has nerve cells all over it because of which we experience different sensations like warmth, cold, touch, pain. And these sensations are passed to the brain through nerve cells and we keep ourselves protected. So kids, today we learned about our sense organs. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.